Please be seated. Provost, Chair, graduands and honoured guests, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation day. And a warm welcome also to those family and friends who are joining us remotely. We meet today to recognise the outstanding achievement of students at Imperial College. Ultimately, our time at Imperial is measured and recognised through our academic accomplishments. However, today is about so much more than that. Today we recognise as well sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity of culture, diversity of ideas, the willingness to volunteer our time for the benefit of others, and above all, the continued commitment to excellence and to the betterment of the world around us. For more than 60 years, Imperial College students have graduated in this hall. These ceremonies have proceeded through times of hardship and of prosperity, through times of peace and of conflict. Conflict has been on many of our minds lately, and no doubt the war in Ukraine has deeply affected many of our students, including, I'm sure, some of you graduating today. In times of such grave uncertainty, we yearn to know what the future holds for us, to know that tomorrow will be a little brighter than today. I'm reminded of the words of one of the college's own Nobel laureates, Dennis Gabor. His own life was one shaped by conflict. Born into a Hungarian Jewish family, he fled Nazi Germany for Britain in 1933. Writing about war and other threats to society, he coined a now well-known phrase, the future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. We all play a shared role in inventing the future, both in the literal sense of invention, as it happens here in the college, but also in the broader sense in which our everyday actions bound the possibilities of the future. The postgraduate training that you have received here at the college has given you the tools for invention, but it falls to you to decide what kind of future you are shaping. A more prosperous future? A kinder future? A peaceful future? Or a future in which inequality and conflict are yet more deeply entrenched. Let us look to the example of those who came before. As graduates of the Faculty of Natural Sciences and the Faculty of Medicine, you carry the legacy of 200 years of college history, crossing the Royal College of Science and the constituent medical schools of Charing Cross, St. Mary's and Westminster Hospitals. 200 years of great scientific and medical advances. Imperial College does not lack for sources of inspiration. But moving forwards, remember that whilst we now stand on the shoulders of giants, in future years, yours will be the shoulders upon which others stand. As you proceed to the next stage, whatever that might be, Remember those shoulders on which you stand and be clear-eyed about how your choices shape our shared future. Be kind, treat others with empathy and respect. Be innovative, make change, start something new, seek knowledge, but always for the betterment of humanity. Congratulations on all that you have achieved and best of luck with all that is to come. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, it is my honour as the Provost of Imperial College London on behalf of the President and the members of council to welcome you to Graduation Day 2022. Before we begin, 
I want to say that we as individuals and as an institution remain deeply concerned by the tragic events in Ukraine. Our hearts go out to all of those affected and we will continue to do everything we can to support them. Imperial has always been a home to brilliant students and academics of all nations, including those who have fled their home country. And some of our greatest achievements have come from refugees such as Dennis Gabor. That will remain so. We reaffirm our commitment to international collaboration and to welcoming students and academics from every part of the world. But today, I want to first salute our graduates on your success. Congratulations. You have worked hard for this moment, and you have earned these celebrations today. Any graduation is a big achievement, but you have arrived at this one after navigating some extraordinary circumstances. And through that, you have adapted, you have improvised, and you have innovated through the especially difficult times we have faced, and you have excelled through it all. The pandemic has created new challenges in the ways that you needed to complete your studies, and you rose to those challenges with determination and with creativity. The long hours of work that you spent in lectures, in laboratories, in libraries, and online have expanded your horizons, both intellectually and socially. Yet you kept focused and you kept moving forward when it felt like the world around you had come to a standstill. Many of you went beyond that to volunteer and to support your local communities. And you can all be very proud of yourselves for persevering and for showing such resilience in the face of adversity. Now, this graduation is a bit different, and perhaps not the one that you were expecting or indeed hoping for. While we have all of you here in this wonderful building, we are missing your crowds of supporters and cheerleaders. Even though they're not here in person because of the constraints imposed by the pandemic, our enjoyment of today is still very much enriched by those who supported you during your studies and those who are watching this ceremony online around the world your parents, grandparents, mentors, extended family and friends have all been key parts of the networks that got you here and were there when you needed them. They share in your triumphs and in your accomplishments. So let's show our appreciation to them now. And of course, your professors, teachers, and staff who've shared their knowledge, who've sparked your curiosity and imagination, who've inspired you and broadened your horizons have all been crucial to you arriving here today. They are dedicated researchers and educators who are at knowledge leaders in their fields and who went to great lengths to ensure that your education was of the highest caliber. They've shown you the importance of having high standards and of dedication. So let's thank them also. As you walk across the stage of this inspiring historic hall, we're all very proud of your achievements and applaud your many talents. In completing your degrees, you have faced both unusual and usual challenges but you've learned both deeply about your subject and about yourself, and you have succeeded. I know that your experiences during your time at Imperial will serve as a guide to you as you navigate what lies ahead. You leave Imperial with the confidence to take risks and to be creative. I have no doubt that you will continue to grow as experts in your chosen fields and to develop new approaches, clever solutions, and compelling ideas that will guide us in the future. I remember myself graduating from Imperial many years ago and the very real sense of accomplishment that accompanied that. My experience here opened new horizons for me and I hope you will find that it also does for you. That you also find a lasting joy 
in learning and discovering and using that knowledge to make some difference. Your journeys are only just beginning, and I hope that you remain curious and retain a sense of wonder about the world throughout your careers as you continue to learn. Now, there is a second purpose to this ceremony, not only celebrating the deserved awards of your degrees, but also commissioning you to use what you have learned to build a better world. The future is necessarily uncertain, and we can't predict what may happen, but with you helping to shape it, we can have high hopes. So as you go out into the world, please, here's a couple of things to think about. First, do what's right and not just what is easy or enjoyable. This often takes some discernment, but accomplishment always takes hard work and some difficult choices. Modifying the status quo demands new ways of working. So resist outcomes that are not fundamental and indeed astounding and transformative. And second, approach your life with awareness of and empathy for others. Know what you value and stick to it. Human-made problems can be solved by humans working collectively, and an eye on the common good will serve you better in the long run than one focused on individual return. Goodness knows there are many challenges out there that are going to require a very broad set of perspectives to make headway. And you have many wonderful role models in the Imperial graduates who've gone before you and whose esteemed ranks you now join as alumni of this great institution. You are the inspiration for and the embodiment of excellence at the college. You join over 200,000 alumni and have the opportunity to encourage others to follow in your footsteps. And I hope that you will stay connected to the Imperial community. You will have created lasting memories together here with colleagues and friends and they will help you adapt and to cope with whatever the future brings. So we look forward to hearing your stories and celebrating your successes in the future. Imperial will retain its lasting value by bringing benefit to society through our ideas and our people. From excellence in research and education, in science, engineering, medicine and business, to ensuring that these have a real impact in the world. So strive to do your best, never stop learning, to extend your reach and to share your knowledge and skills. You are important. You will define the future of this world, so commit yourselves to the possibilities thereof. We have every faith in you as you pursue your dreams. So many congratulations again. Provost, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Mr. Martin Lupson, Faculty of Medicine, Vice Dean for Education, Professor Terry Tetley, Proconsul and Professor of Lung Cell Biology, and Professor Dorian Haskard, Consul Non-Clinical for the Faculty of Medicine. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask you to reserve applause to prize winners or until the end of each department. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Brain Sciences, Christopher Timmerman. That concludes the Department of Brain Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduate. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Infectious Disease, Katie McFall. 
That concludes the Department of Infectious Disease. Please join me in a round of applause. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Medicine. Maria Lina Abadi. Maya Abuzad. Adukunle Adeniran. Zaina Ahmed. Rochelle Allen. Kiriaki Anastasiadou. Michael Appia. Esther Bancole. Bien Patrick Pestano Begonia. Frederick Bouyame. Uzezi Sedras. Wuan Chen. Julie Seagrang. Christiana Victoria Sismaru. Michael Corio. Hannah Cuthbertson Husband. Nikita Dave. Diana David. Alinda De Jonai. Dean's Prize for Molecular Biology and Pathology of Viruses. Oh, not her. Sorry. Yuzhuan Feng. Simon Mathis Frerich. Natalia Galaz Souza. Anna Gallegos Cortes. Ferran Garcia Leogustra. Bryony Mew, Nikkei Hensel, Ziteng Ha, Connor Haywood, Huichayut Hum Surinam, Mina Idris, Kaste Yurgati Te. Katharina Kraft, Joanna Coots, Danielle Lauren Curtin, Charlotte Lee, Shi Kui Li, Lucia Luengo Gutierrez, Kate McKay. Frederica Marchison. The Dean's Prize for Translational Neuroscience, Lera Malgosa Ezenaro. <laughs> Lucy Ann Elizabeth Moyd. Maya Moshe. Christus Nicolaou. Shoyan Odekunle. Sophie Rose O'Reilly. Mimosa Osmani. Reese Powell. The Dean's Prize for Functional Omics, Path Mugreshukmar Patel. Noel Pizzicano. Igor Pulko. Yeah? No. Is this her? Okay. Shinil Raina. Igor Pukka. Shinil Raina. 
Sultan Said Rajput, Marta Gallis Ramalo, Laura Ramos, Marielle Rose, Dranusha Saidi, Masa Sheikh. Angie Paula Silva Bena, Angel Jade Smith, Ray Suko, Michelle Tan, Mohammed Madi Tapada, Ansela Sabu. Claire Elizabeth Toom, Megan McLean Turner, Munache Su Ukwoma, Swetha Umashanka, Tanya Isabel Velez Perez, Dilakshani Vinyaraja. Carolina Pierdet, Sophie Wolf, Rebecca Warman, Ella Whittle, Holly Wiles, Thomas Williams, Isabella Withnell. Sarah Zaffa, the Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Medicine, Tabasuma Akramul, Garazzi Aranya Oyabide, Taniel Ashik. Vedika Avadan, Murshida Begum, Iona Faradiku, the Dean's Prize for Experimental Neuroscience, Helen Lai. <laughs> Biai Chen Lu. Victoriano Domingo Mariano, Ashling McGarry, the Dean's Prize for Translational Medicine, Marily Niglas, <laughs> Ahmed Rabi, Ibrahim Rabi, Horia Pahul Shkiopu. Jessica Starlukova, William Scott Thompson, Nicolina Vachetsentvanu, Grace Ward, Yi Wei Wu, Ziru Yong. The Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy Medicine, Leo Roseman. Oops, no, you. <laughs> <laughs> Dilkushi Amali Puvendan. Anastasia Dimokopoulou. That concludes the Department of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates.
Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, National Heart and Lung Institute. NHLI Award, MSc, Cardiovascular and Respiratory Healthcare, Asma Fala Alhabi. <laughs> Abdul Karin Abdullah Al Madru. Suleiman Saleh Al Saeed. Maseo Asubai. Avi Andrew. Joanna Ahontaki. Romina Azili Mushtag. Anna Barber Jana. Rima Begum. Adriana Bilotka. Calliope Bokea. Ali Bahoush. Audrey Byrne. Philippa Gonzalez. Shannon Gunn. Esmail Park Esmail. Alicia Jeffries Jones. Daisy Jennings. Hannah Cuddin. Raffaella Constantinidi. Dean's Prize for Medical Ultrasound Echocardiography, Francisca Kotsusi. Gemma Laura. Yiman Lee. Emmanuel Ukwalogu. Quiva O'Neill. Beatrice Castle Sebo. Tasha Irani. Diantha Priya Polenthi Raraja. Tina Prenderville. Ram Ramalingam Pile. NHLI Best Research Project Award, MSc Medical Ultrasound, Echocardiography, Pira Ritchie. <laughs> Margarita Ribarikova. Davina Sadia Keithi. Ala Abdel Nasser Ahmed Syed. Ezra Schwalger Jackson, Ravi Sharma, Abigail Yan Li Shua, Chian Chan Song, Sonam Taylor, Stella Tatton. Christopher Tom, Cristalia Sitsipas, Margarita Varela, Christopher Whiting, Si Hao Xiao,
That concludes the National Heart and Lung Institute. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, School of Public Health. Megan Astley. <laughs> Yu Bai. <laughs> Ji Yan Bo. <laughs> Daria Borba. <laughs> Paula Kristen. Zi Yun Yang, Anne Joshua, Salome Kellett, Ji Yan Bo, Salome Kellett, Marta Monica Kvyatkovska, sorry, Judith Lego, Xiaomeng Liao. Alison Elizabeth McEwen, MSc Health Data Analytics and Machine Learning Prize for Best Dissertation, Antje Barbara Metzler. <clears throat> Diego Fernando Najera Saltos. Kajul Panchal, Lippi, Claire Pringle, MSc Epidemiology Prize for Best Dissertation, MSc Epidemiology Prize for Best Overall Performance, Rosie Singleton. Yalu Su, Amy Rose Tickle, Dean's Prize for Healthy Policy, Celine Seni Yana, <clears throat> Zhen Yang Zhu, Diploma of the Imperial College. Master of Public Health, School of Public Health, Wafa Alaliani. <clears throat> Samiha Alam. Archana Birun. Estero Bonsia. Ching Lam Chung. Maryam Chitchek. Master of Public Health, Health Services and Systems Stream, Prize for the Best Overall Performance. Master of Public Health Prize, Health Services and Systems Stream for Best Dissertation, K Katrina Crooks. <clears throat> Kate Davis. Alicia DeVink. Emily Charlotte Vivian, Maria Ganeshka, Raina Hervey, Mamina Yawa Irvin Khan, Hannah Kaufman, Sean Yu Cheng Lee. 
Veronica Mushoko. Akosua Ofori. Angel Ose Fosu. Francisca Susanna Sala. Marina Sanchez Perez. Isha Singh. Nirali Soni. Jean Baptiste Woods. That concludes the School of Public Health. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Satish Babu. Jesse Beck Lima. Linda Burkhardt. The Dean's Prize for Reproductive and Developmental Biology, Angela Colangelo. <laughs> the Dean's Prize for Healthcare and Design, Kerry Cooper. <laughs> Sophia Anna Davaria. Charlotte Dick. Francesca Farsation. Georgia Vanessa Hajisomolu. Shran Jan. Ivana Yobet. Christine McGregor. Zaid Mira. Caroline Lagade Monson. Jenny Deborah Umwezavi. Obian Yuju Okonkwe. Jennifer Rosemary Eseogini Oluku. Keshmi Shah. Naeem Slim. Maria Tiffanos. Catherine Louise Vickers. Christopher James Weatherburn. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Education, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Shomo Mukherjee. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Okunle Opanipu Adinipikum. Tanya Agajafa. Matilda Duart. Esther Vancola. Katrine Beetham. Julia Kai. Nantawat Chaitragun Tong. The Dean's Prize for Epidemiology, Evolution, and Control of Infectious Diseases, Helen Coupland. <laughs> Catherine Davis. Bimandra Aditupra Jafara. James Donohue. The Dean's Prize for Cancer Informatics, Magdalena 
Trotsky. No? Shireen Hasibi. Oliver Eels. Claire Karen Anita Elek. Katie Flight. Cheyenne Gibson. Shedong Guan. The Galen Prize for Biomedical Research, Laurie Haight. Robert Horsley. Barul Huang. Humaya Yeriba Zabala. The Dean's Prize for Cancer Biology, Nisha Kara. Cassie Lee. Winnie Lee. Winnie Lay. Annabel Macklin. Andrea Maestorovic. Julia Masvidal. David McTague. Danielle Mankemo. Afia Nassim. Rihanna O'Sullivan. Samuel Owen. Ariba Jamil Khan Patel. Oliver Powell. Alexander Power. Josephine Rye. Jessica Slater. The Dean's Prize for Bacterial Pathogenesis and Infection, Amber Sefton. Daria Chilakova. Oliver Stringer. Jiyam Su. Atiola Tajabadi. Kirsten Marithol. Am Truong. The Dean's Prize for Molecular Basis of Human Disease, Stephanie Tai. Beijia Wang. Emily Winter. Bo Yu Yu. Meng Shu Zhang. The McGill Prize, Hong Yang Zhao. Aurelie the tea leaf Trump. And the Diploma of the Imperial College Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Surgery and Cancer, Anita Whale. That concludes the Department of Surgery and Cancer and the Faculty of Medicine. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates.
presentation of the President's Medal. Liz, would you like to come down to the stage? Mrs. Liz Chu, President's Medal for supporting the student experience. Mrs. Liz Chu has made an invaluable contribution to countless students and staff at Imperial College London. She is continually developing innovative needs-based approaches to improve the student experience, particularly by fostering communities and a sense of belonging. Her initiatives include an English conversation forum, summer pre-sessional courses and doctoral student events that enable new members of the college community to come together, offer mutual support and feel less isolated. To produce these projects, she often goes above and beyond the call of duty to learn new skills, systems and technology that provide resourceful, approachable solutions. She is renowned for her instinctive empathy and the determination to create actions and outcomes that ensure that all students can participate actively, effectively, and equally in college life. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Mrs. Liz Chu a President's Medal for excellence in supporting the student experience. The President's Medal for Research Support Excellence, Dr. Richard Shidlow. Dr. Shidlow has been an essential contributor to the Centre for Haematology at Imperial College for more than 30 years. His understanding of the biology of cancer and its management and his critical and objective abilities in data analysis have made a major contribution to the field of allogeneic stem cell transplantation. He's been instrumental in creating and analyzing large databases containing information for many thousands of patients, the results of which have had a worldwide impact on and have changed the clinical management of patients undergoing bone marrow transplantation. Students and collaborators alike treasure his knowledge and collaborative approach. Not a single paper is published by his colleagues without Dr. Schittler's data examination and expert opinion. In addition, he possesses a unique ability of teaching in the most comprehensive manner, giving statistical analysis a meaning and justification, and he is renowned for delivering his teaching with a unique combination of expertise and humor. He embodies the college's commitment to inclusivity and is an invaluable member of the college and of the global community in hematology. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by Council toward Dr. Richard Chitlow, President's Medal for Research Support Excellence. Now turn to the presentation of the Imperial College Medal. Jan. Professor Jan Karsted Duke's distinguished career began in the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. There he qualified as a doctor, obtained his PhD and an MD in medicinal chemistry, and he became a licensed physician. He went on to hold a series of research appointments 
becoming a Professor of Molecular Endocrinology and Dean of Research. Alongside his many academic achievements, Professor Jan Karsted Duke has maintained an interest in medical education throughout his career. As director of the medical school project at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, he was pivotal in the creation of its joint medical school with Imperial College London. Since then, he has held a series of senior roles in the school, including as a member of the governing board. Professor Carlster Duke has worked closely with the college, providing invaluable advice and meticulous attention to the details that have been crucial to the school's successful development. I therefore, on behalf of council, award Professor Jan Carlster Duke an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Jan, congratulations. Provost, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Dr. Jem Woods, Reader in Sustainable Development, Professor Rob Law, Deputy Head of Department of Chemistry, Professor Anne Dell, Head of Department of Life Sciences, Professor Jonathan Mestel, Senior Consul and Professor of Applied Mathematics, and Professor Michelle Doherty, Head of Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask you to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of each department. Okay, thank you. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Center for Environmental Policy. Felicia Aminoff. The AECOM Prize, Bibi Badcock Scruton. Samuel Barker. Bajan Bakranya. Francesca Battersby. Anna Moore Berman. Asis Blair. Essa Boyer. Anna Carlotta Brockhaus. David Chow. Vanya Costa. Alicia Douglas. Rachel Dunn. Christina Stoyanova Edisonova. Helen Finney. Rob Godfrey. No, done, Rob. The Acom Pri, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, the Acom Prize and the Ether Prize, Sarah Goodenough. <laughs> Charlotte Emily Gregory. Lydia Hanford. Gitto Harries. 
Chelsea Hope Henry Robertson. James Housden. Maimona Mohammed Idris. Chawanya Jatu Pitporn Chan. Pantelis K. Ray Akadis. Richard Knight. Farin Lari. Adiante Nadira. Patricia Ogon. Yeah. India Nervais Oliveira. Victoria Chiago Zeun Unyaboigo. Janki Patel. Federica Pignatano. Zara Plummer. Amra Amara Pravyat. The Veolia Environmental Services Prize, Deletta Ramoadi. <laughs> Mohammed Agun Sap Saputra. The Bell Prize, Leah Saw, sorry, excuse me. Thomas Sheelis. Amy Simon. Erica Stark. Robert Adriano Weiner. Matthew Philip Kerr Wright. Wan Yu Yang. Christopher Zheng. Yu Yung Chung. That now concludes the graduates from the Center for Environmental Policy. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. The Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research, Department of Chemistry, Shafa Al Mari, Benson Babu, Clara Bernardi, Vanessa Buffa, Honkal Calvo. Bingling Chen, Xiji Chen, Yuxin Zhui, MWES Green Chemistry Dissertation Prize, Ji Win Yi Sui. Chikozi Julius Ezra. Perkin Prize in Drug Discovery Research, Liang Gavin. <clears throat> Luisa Giannitelli. Munjun Gong. Arish Huki. Thomas Jackson. Luis Jennings, Stella Singh Yi Li, Jason Lee, Sao Fung Jacob Jung, 
MRES Green Chemistry Outstanding Performance Prize. Laura Martin. Alexander McDermott. Louise McGrath. Vania Milkova. Yare Name. Brendan O'Connell. Dichuan B. Xiao Lorenko. MSC Human and Biological Robotics Prize. Alexandra Radu. Anna Segres Kudina. Liberty Rose Stevens Deeves. Mary T. Claire Chokowi Jaya. Aditya Vivek. Young Hong Wang. Kira Wincott. Eunice Wong. Jonathan Woods. Xian Jiu. Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Department of Chemistry, uh, Daniele Antemite. <laughs> that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemistry. Please join me in a round of applause to all our graduating class. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Life Sciences. Timmy Adebenla. Alexis Jane Orders. Talia Al Mushadani. Nicholas James Barrett. Julia Bernardini. Andrew Brinkworth. Leo Jean Cecile Bruno, Faran Cardoso, Vivi Chan, Heng Ying Chen Chick, Jessica Lee Cole, Noemi David Roja, Guillaume August Devon Artis. Joseph Hooker Prize, Kathleen Drake. Spencer Ajiroro Jene Duviamo. Elizabeth Erkek. Anna Yomakova. Leah Lucy Jocelyn Fitzpatrick. June Fuller, Max Fersman, Alessandro Pio Greco, Jonathan Greenslade, Jacob Griffiths, 
Erin Thieke Hamilton, Elise Maria Harris, Rachel Catherine Hall, Centenary Prize for the MSc in Applied Biosciences and Biotechnology, Sarah Jordan. Sean Keane. Fairly Kirkpatrick Baird. Evan Cont. Hugh Wei Lee. Gregory Lee Mann. Leah Lortel. Christopher Lucas. Youssef Madbouli, Tom McNally, Sarah Milligan, Maria Jose Mona Salazar, Jack Murphy, Grace Bridget Ann Nolan. Lois Nolan, Emily Noon, Joseph Palmer, Alessandro Matthias Perzio Biroli, Valentina Posse Sarmiento, James Raymond. Chloe Roberts, Andy Roy, Chloe Sargent, D David Scott, Luciano Simonetti, Bridget Sparrow Sinoka, Amy Van Gelder. Patrick Vasey, Illumina Prize, Luke Joseph Vassell, <clears throat> Anjali Vijay Kumar, Francesca Rhiannon Sadie Webster, Megan Rose Williams, Illumina Prize, Deiraj Wilson Agawal, <clears throat> Yulang Yao, Morgan Pease, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Life Sciences, Rahayu Ahaza. Kayo Mavwa Akpobaro, Fiorella Alberini, Alexander Orman, Ivet Angelova, Centenary Prize for the MRES in Molecular and Cellular Biosciences, Lucy Cornell. Jacopo de Capataini, Roberto Danini, Emma Itoff, Sebastian Inkeus Tegui Ueta, Jan Katalinic. Franklin Dean Keck, Charlie Kiesel, Chania Clare, Francesca Marshall Stockmau, Jonathan Muller,
Harrison James Ostridge, Hannah O'Sullivan, Bryony Jane Parker, Gemma Pitotti, Joshua Reynolds, Martina Riccaldi, Fiatra Sweeney, Vivian Toonder, William Edward Carlton Tufnell, Hank T. Vaishnav, Megal Verma, Maisie Volans, Burite Mary Gordicus Price in Tropical Ecology, Fabienne Wiebecker. <laughs> Diploma of the Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy. Department of Life Sciences, Louis Derek Henderson. <laughs> that now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Department of Mathematics, Hossein Abbas. Department of Mathematics Prize for the best MSc pure mathematics students, Lambert Acampo. <laughs> Maj Dagumi. Rodi Asaf. Clarissa Baramki. Abdul Karim Benjaloun. Magnus Bennett. Connor Stewart Booth. Laura Gwyneth Butler. Enrico Cravini. Karima Darwish. Jack Davis. Danai Kaliopi Theliogiaki. Angeliki Demijiaki. Sofian Habib Jack El Kuaratia. Yuan Feng. Ethritisis Yoriayasis. Justin Gui. Garda Hamia. Cole Holroyd. Elisa Ibrahim. Luca Illich. Yue Jiang. Francois Ledin. Idris M. Bini. Andrew Mendelssohn. Hajao Walin. Navdeep Singh Panesar. The Winton Prize for the Best MSc Statistics Students, Yanni Papandreou. The Royal Statistical Society Prize, Nicolas Papakinolakoye. Bogosi Natsatsi Shashane. Pooja Shinoi, Mariale Simoni, 
the Department of Mathematics Prize, Christopher Santon. Arthur Wang. Fing Pei Wong. Roger Shui. Si Chi Chung. The Dip Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Research, Department of Mathematics. Robin Evers. Swinda Klasia Yantina Falconer. Thomas James Gregory. Sam Harrison. Kikara Cecilia Mayauki. Oliver James Phillips. Oliver Street. Kathy Ann Wells. Well done to them all. That now concludes the graduates of the Department of Mathematics. Please join me in a round of applause to all of them. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science Department of Physics, Mariam Magdi Ali, Oliver Bradley, Lucas Grumanellis, Sophia Mary Imperato. Caroline Louise Jones. May Yu Liang. May Jen Liang. The MSc in Physics Prize, Sebastian Perrin. Buratsakong Pontip Pitak. Alistair Smith. Timo Sommer. Alexander Harold Sullivan. Niruj Tata. Firat Togas. Sina Virari, Chao Tru Zen, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Research Department of Physics, Gabriel Coulter, Harry Demetrio, Lydia Kanari Naishi. Jivya Mohana Krishna, Matthew Ward. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Physics and the Faculty of Natural Sciences. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduating class. Presentation of the President's Medal. Thibaut, Marianne Lee. Let's go to the stage. The President's Medal for Excellence in Teaching and Innovation is a joint award made to Dr. Thibaut Bertrand. Professor Kevin Buzzard, who unfortunately can't be here today, and Dr. Marie-Amélie Lorne.
The introduction to University Mathematics module team included Dr. Thibaut Bertrand, Professor Kevin Buzzard, and Dr. Marie-Amélie Lorne. Together, they successfully created a motivating and challenging introduction to mathematics for students from a range of educational backgrounds. The goal was to fill knowledge gaps for a diverse cohort, enabling an academic and social transition to mathematics at university. This is a true challenge. The team fully embraced the opportunity for innovation from concept to delivery and produced a 94% pass rate at the first attempt, which is amazing in mathematics. <laughs> I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Dr. Thibaut Bertrand and Dr. Marie-Amélie Lorne a President's Medal for Excellence in Teaching Innovation. President's Medal for Excellence in Societal Engagement. Phil. Dr. Phil Ramsden. Dr. Ramsden has made outstanding contributions to outreach, widening participation, and national secondary education in mathematics, with expertise in engaging pupils from underrepresented backgrounds. He has taken many leadership roles in these areas, proactively designing programs that support A-level teachers and pupils. One such program is the college's um, A-Star Maths online program, a free set of learning resources that support year 12 and year 13 pupils from underrepresented backgrounds who aim for an A-Star grade at A-level. Alongside this work, he also leads the mathematics strand of the college's summer school in partnership with the Sutton Trust and a homework club that supports local school pupils. He shares his expertise on government advisory panels, at educational conferences and on national programmes, including a programme linked to the maths online for supporting continuing professional development for A-level teachers. He is a tireless advocate for enhancing the mathematical knowledge, confidence and ability of pupils, students and teachers alike. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Dr Phil Ramsden a President's Medal uh, for Excellence in Societal Engagement. Presentation of the Imperial College Medal. Alan. Professor Alan Armstrong is a prize winning pioneer in the field of asymmetric organic catalysis with work that has offered new methods and novel technologies for drug discovery. He obtained his undergraduate and PhD degrees from Imperial College London returning to become reader, then professor of organic synthesis. In 2014, Professor Armstrong became the head of the Department of Chemistry at the college in what was to be one of the most challenging and exciting periods in its history. Alongside his commitment to excellent teaching and academic performance, he redeveloped the department's research vision to engage broad disciplines and address contemporary challenges. This became the basis for the new Molecular Sciences Research Hub at the college's White City campus which would provide space and infrastructure for major advances in the chemical and molecular sciences. Professor Armstrong was a strong champion for the project throughout its many complexities, engaging with staff, students, and external partners to ensure it successfully established the vision 
at the heart of the College's new in innovation ecosystem. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Professor Alan Armstrong an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Nikki. Dr. Kliniki Gunaris has been a dedicated supporter, mentor, and advocate for the postgraduates in the Department of Life Sciences for more than 25 years. Throughout this time, she has managed to maintain consistently high standards in the performance of students whilst navigating departmental mergers and restructures and making important academic contrib contributions in her own field. The hallmark of Dr. Gunaris's contribution has been an unwavering commitment and ability to work across the entire spectrum of postgraduate activities, from management to mentoring, supporting students on a daily basis, as well as the broad, broad spectrum of life sciences fields. It is due to her continued and sustained efforts that the department has maintained its record over the years of more than 90% PhD submission rate within four years. She's been an inspirational and educational mentor for many new members of the department, and has maintained an active research program, supervising 10 PhD students as their principal supervisor and publishing over 80 research papers to date. I therefore invite you, Provost, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to, to award Dr. Kliniki Gunaris an Imperial College Medal in recognition of her exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Now turn to the award of the uh, uh, Imperial College Medals. First, Mr. Terry Branch. For 20 years, Mr. Terry Branch has played a pivotal role in keeping the entire Imperial College London community safe. Since joining the college as security officer, he has shown dedication and forward thinking that has led to many deserved promotions, and today he is our head of security. Mr. Branch is a much respected colleague and leader who ensures his team receives the best training and support, including innovative trauma training to deal with major incidents, which was the first of its kind in any UK university, and has become a blueprint for organizations. He's also developed powerful advocacy for crime prevention, leading to the creation of the college's safe and secure brand and its victim charter, and has taken a proactive approach to developing new tools and technology that respond to emerging risks. Since March 2020, Mr. Branch has played a vital role in the college's response to COVID-19. He has identified potential risks and coordinated a range of initiatives to safeguard the college and its people, often going above and beyond normal duties. Therefore, on behalf of Council, I award Mr. Terry Branch an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Excuse me. 
Next, Professor Joanna Haig. Professor Joanna Haig, CBE, first joined Imperial College London in 1976 as a master's student in meteorology. She returned in 1984 as a lecturer after completing her doctorate at the University of Oxford. And over the next 35 years, she established herself as an internationally renowned leader in the field of atmospheric physics. In 2009, she became the first female head of the Department of Physics. And in 2014, she joined the Grantham Institute for Climate Change and the Environment as a co-director. Her work at the Institute led to new masters and doctoral training programs, as well as a scholarly affiliates program that contains over 200 academic staff across the college. Her successes have contributed to the Grantham Foundation for the Protection of the Environment, having donated 10 million pounds to support multidisciplinary work and research translation at the college. <coughs> Professor Haig has also been recognized externally. She has been the president of the Royal Meteorological Society, a lead author on the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and a recognized expert on climate science in the media. In 2013, she was appointed CBE for her services to physics. Therefore, on behalf of Council, I award Professor Joanna Haig, CBE, an Imperial College Medal in recognition of her exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Awardees, Mr. Philip Notley. Through 23 years of dedicated service, Mr. Philip Notley has progressed through our residences team to become the residential services operations manager. Since day one, he has led by example with honesty and integrity. He's approached every task and challenge with a quiet enthusiasm, a sense of humor, and a positive attitude, which motivates all around him to provide the best possible student experience. When solving problems, he's known to be willing to roll up his sleeves, work out of hours, and marshal all the necessary resources. Mr. Notley showed an unwavering commitment to maintaining high standards of service across a range of accommodation whether for students during term time or for visitors who stayed throughout the summer vacation. He has supported his team tirelessly, seeking out opportunities to aid their development and to increase their job satisfaction. This was particularly important at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, as he and his team went above and beyond to support frontline workers with bed spaces that reduced commuting time for hundreds of NHS workers at St. Mary's Hospital. Therefore, on behalf of Council, I award Mr. Philip Notley an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I have the privilege of bringing these proceedings to, uh, to a close. And first of all, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who's graduated today. Thank you all for bringing your talent and diversity to Imperial. I'm sure you feel Imperial has given something to you, but you should recognize that all, you have also brought a great deal to Imperial. Your presence contributes, I think, to our continued success. Now I think it's time for you to go out and do something really positive. Use your education and qualifications to help address the huge challenges the world faces, 
and to make a difference to the world. And scientists and doctors, you know, between you, you should be able to solve just about all the, the world's problems. You know, nothing should, be, should defeat you. <clears throat> now, we've come through major challenges while you've been at Imperial. COVID, not vanquished, but managed, and Brexit, where we're still really in the foothills of discovering what the impact is actually going to be. And we now have to deal with the impact on the world of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, world stability disturbed, global economies destabilized, and the human cost, deaths, injuries, millions of refugees, and that number is still climbing. The outlook for world peace looked very different from just a few weeks ago. So let's think for a moment for students in Ukraine and the challenges they are currently facing, either as refugees, or besieged residents, or even in the military. Please do whatever you can to help refugees, whether they be from Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria, or, or wherever. We have at the College a Sanctuary Fund. A small donation from each of you to that Sanctuary Fund will help us help those who are most in need who are refugees. And of course, ahead of us, we have the great challenge of climate change and getting the world to net zero. So whatever your specific discipline, you can and should try to make a difference. Wherever in the world you're going to be, whatever you're going to do. I've no doubt you're going to do some good every day, but please try to do a little bit more. <clears throat> now, don't feel you're leaving Imperial. As you go forth to do whatever you'll choose to do in the future, you will still be part of the Imperial family. And we will be keen to see and hear of your progress and achievements. <clears throat> I'm coming to the end of my remarks, but before I close, I'd ask you to join me in thanking everyone at Imperial who's helped you get to this point, your tutors and other academic staff and all the other Imperial staff, seen and unseen, who play a vital role in making this great institution work. Please give them an enormous round of applause. <clears throat> Thank you, that wasn't bad. But in a moment, I'm going to ask you to recognize your family, your parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters and partners and husbands and wives and friends, um, you know, for the support that they have given you, both in getting here in the first place and then to be able to succeed. Now, this morning, we had a tremendous round of applause from the engineers. There are about a third less people here this afternoon than there were this morning. And so I would expect the mathematicians present, but only the mathematicians, of course, to work out that you'll have to make about 50% more noise per capita in order to match what the engineers achieved this morning. But come on, please blow the roof off in a second in your appreciation of the efforts who's, of everyone who's helped you get here and supported while you've been here. Please give it your very, very best shot. Fantastic, that was terrific. I'm going to start bringing a decibel meter here so that I can actually, I can measure the results of these events. Now in a moment we'll have the national anthem, so please be patient and wait for that, and then let the academic procession get out. Don't kill us in the rush. I know you want to get off and celebrate your graduation, and by heavens you deserve it, but just if you could exercise a little patience for a couple of minutes, that would be great. Thank you all very, very much. <clears throat>